Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome for the first time. I'm making this video because I wanted to show you all what I do to my hair when I want to leave it alone. I am guilty of playing in my hair all the time if it's in like a wash and go or anything that's remotely close to my face. I don't know, it's like a nervous habit, but it kind of prevents it from growing and being great. So if you want to see what I do to my hair to prevent it from breakage, then keep on watching this video. Also, if you're interested in the style that I had at the beginning of this video, that kind of side braid looking thing, I'm gonna link it in the description box. That's another really, really good protective style that I used to wear quite often. Um, actually, I'm just gonna link a whole bunch of my videos of protective styles. So check the description box. I am starting with a clarifying shampoo. It's really important for me to use a clarifying shampoo whenever I wash my hair because I don't wash it often and there's a ton of buildup by the time I do. To style, I'm gonna use this leave-in moisturizer from Eden Body Works. My favorite gel, absolute favorite of all time is Kinky Curly. And again, I'm using this Shea Moisture Argan Oil. So here's my hair freshly washed, nothing's in it. I'm gonna go ahead and condition with Yes to Care's Coconut and Argan Oil Conditioner. I am trying to get back to basics here with my hair care. Um, the first time I big chopped, I used like three products the entire time. I'm really trying to get back to there because my hair was super healthy and always moisturized. So if you wanna know my um, go-to products, I'm pretty sure you can already guess them because I talk about them all the time. But let me know if you guys want me to do a separate video with my all-time favorite products. So you guys, when I moved, I threw away my studio lights instead of taking them with me. I don't know why. So that's why it's kind of grainy right now because I am working with sunlight, which is going away as you can see. But anyways, my hair is conditioned and washed. And now I'm gonna section it off. And first I put the argan oil in my hair, some kind of oil, any kind of oil, just put an oil in your hair right after you rinse it. Then I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer and then just begin twisting. For this protective style, I'm doing medium-ish sized twists. They look pretty small, but compared to the mini twists I used to do, these are pretty medium. As far as parting, yep, it's sketchy. I don't part too well when I'm in a rush. Altogether, this style took me about, uh, I'd say a little bit over an hour to twist my entire head. So this is what my hair looks like the next day. It's a little flat for me. So what I do to flip it back up is just spray it or I'll get in the shower without a shower cap and just let the steam from the shower kind of bring my hair back to life. Lately, I've been a little obsessed with hair jewelry. So I got these little hair cuffs from the beauty supply store and put them randomly in the twist. Now for my edges, I'm just using my favorite gel and I'm going to put my scarf on, do my face and let that dry. After everything has set and dried, this is what my hair looks like. Don't let the shrinkage fool you. I didn't cut my hair. <laughs> it's just, it shrivels up so much when it's in these twists, but that's okay. That's the point of a protective style. And it wouldn't be a true protective style if I let it hang loose. So I just pulled it back in this cute bun and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time in the next one. Bye.